Hello. Pinakatira. <laughs> Side A lang. <laughs> of action uh, by increasing peristal uh, uh, this uh, laxative the feast morning absorption of water so water is stood is eliminated. Once you use this one, the impacted feces or yung matigas na kain natin, ina-absorb niya and na codil or can be given also suppository uh, anima. The onset of action is this one. You worse. So, uh, on me. And the other uh, thing na binibigay natin, we have Zina, uh, Cascara, uh, Sagrada, and Aloe. Drug passes to unchain into a colon, uh, which is the laxative, and bacteria come into an active compound. Now, the active compounds, then it absorbs and have a direct stimulant effect on um, a menteric uh, plexus and contraction of the colon. Now, the onset of this uh, uh, action, it can take around 6 to 8 hours, and then it may release the uh, stools. You could use also castor oil. Uh, it is hydrolyzed in the upper small intestine or reconolic acid, a local irritant that increase intestinal utility. So you you can use also castor oil for that one. Yung onset of action niya, you can use it within six, uh, two to six hours long. And then you will pass out. The therapeutic use for this one, it cleans the colon. And when you have this uh, colonoscopies, when you have this, uh, what do you call this one, um, diagnostic test for colon, uh, they will visualize your colon or barium enema, intestinal uh, surgeries, uh, they will give you this one to cleanse it, your colon. Now, uh, the, the side effect of um, phenophile, Thalanin is a um, nausea, abdominal cramps, weakness, a reddish brown urine. And also the bisocodyl, it's a fluid and electrolyte imbalance, which is the potassium and calcium. At saka nagmamal cramping ka or diarrhea. About castor oil, uh, it stimulates the uterine contraction and it's spontaneous abortion if you uh, try to uh, take this one, the castor oil. And Zina damages the nerve and it can cause loss of intestinal muscular tone. 
Now, precaution for taking this one, laxatives, this is uh, the chronic or long-term use of stimulant uh, can lead to loss of colon function. Magiging cathartic colon na siya. And consequently, yung constipated ka na siya and become increasingly worse and become unresponsive already to laxative. Once you overdo, you overuse for this laxative, uh, it will not respond already when you constantly repeated it. Another thing is that for chronic long-term use of stimulant laxative can lead also to loss of colon function. Nagiging cathartic na siya, it's, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Stool softener or emulent laxative. The active ingredient is uh, most stool softener is a medicine called disosate. Dicosate. 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 Mm -hmm. Dicosate. Yung mode of action niya, it prevents the hardening of the feces by adding moisture to the stool. Uh, so, nagiging moisture siya, hindi siya nagiging hard. It becomes emulsified with the stool and they decrease surface tension of the fecal and must to allow the water to penetrate into the stool. So, nagiging softened pa siya ang mode of action niya. Therapeutic use is this to prevent constipation commonly recommended for patients who should be avoid straining while defecating. It's also included to the patient who are recovering from abdominal or pelvic rectal surgery. It's also for during childbirth, especially those who are cesarean section. And also uh, for a heart attack because uh, during heart attack, it's hard for mm -hmm. them to push and it can cause them attack, another kind of attack. So uh, they prescribe this one for the patient having this heart attack. Person also with high blood pressure and abdominal hernias, they give this one. And mineral oil, a mineral oil used as a lubricant laxative. It coats and softens the stools. It softens the stool by retarding colonic absorption to the fecal water. And ex an exact mechanism is unknown for this mineral oil. But uh, I think I remember that we, they always use laxative in the, in the hospital. Therapeutic use for this one is used by the patient who is need to avoid straining. Like for example, yung hernia repair, pag nag hernia repair ka, yung hemorrhoids, it's really pain for this one. I saw patient having this uh, hemorrhoid surgery, hernia, even heart attack and uh, childbirth. Um, it's really very hard for them to push or to defecate. Uh, so they give them a lubricant uh, laxative. Precaution for using lubricant laxative, mineral oil should be avoided in patients who are uh, taking uh, blood thinners or such uh, comadine. Patients using comadine do not give mineral oil. Mineral oil decreases absorption of vitamin K. So it is important uh, uh, to inform that if you have uh, this uh, low vitamin K, which is informing um, for clotting factors in the blood from the intestine. Mineral oil should not be taken during pregnancy since it may inhibit vitamin absorption and decrease availability of vitamin K for the so it's contraindicated for the uh, pregnant when women. Pregnant women. Yeah. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Any mass and suppositories, a therapeutic uses is that to reduce constipation, uh, rectal fecal. So uh, we do this one, any mass, especially also for the patient who have. Uh, go to surgery or like that we do enema also. And um, those who have the rectal impact, uh, impaction or blockage of the rectum by hard compacted stool. Uh, conjunction with oral laxative and uh, cleansing in colon is the in preparation for barium enema studies. So this one we do enemas and suppositories as a therapeutic use. Example for enemas and suppositories is the microenema which contain dicosate or dopolac suppository which contain bisacodyl or clean enema uh, which contain sodium biphosphate. Now that's the thing for the constipation. I just want to ask if there's any question. No. 
Ma'am, may okay. question ako. Ano yun? In a, in a one week, kung high, may uh, may high blood, uh, nataas ang, may, ang BP ng patient, tapos nag siya ng for constipation, like for example, Movicol, I can mm-hmm. give only like once a week. Because sometimes my patient is requesting for more. Like if she, if I give in on Monday and then on Wednesday she is asking again, and then I sometimes I told her just to wait for a while, and I give uh, more fluids. Kasi nga ano siya? Parang sabi ng doctor nung nagpunta kami, hindi siya pwedeng magdepend dun sa ano for constipation na gamot. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's better to uh, to make other options uh, mm-hmm. uh, rather than to give uh, other laxative for the patient because it's mm-hmm. also dangerous especially if the patient have this uh, uh, present condition like hypertension uh, mm-hmm. sa mga cardio because they are pushing so hard when they have this uh, pag nag-evacuate sila ng, ng uh, stools. So, um, you have to help them, uh, like for example, to increase fluid intake, uh, give them fiber which is uh, uh, present for the vegetables, uh, uh, fruits, yung mga mm-hmm. i-substitute mo siya kasi it is not also good to be dependent for that one. Mm-hmm. As we study mm-hmm. that um, um, uh, it is not good. Uh, it is not mm. good to be too much dependent for dependent. that one. Also, mm-hmm. also dangerous. So it's better to have an, another option. Okay. Or uh, you could also inform. You have to also inform uh, uh, for the better result. You have to mm. inform the, your doctor when you mm-hmm. have this um, uh, pag check up kayo, sabihin mo yung situation that my uh, my my client and my patient is asking for um, the, another dose for this mm-hmm. one in a week but uh, it's only mm-hmm. for once a week like that so uh, mm-hmm. could you give me other um, options like that you ask the doctor because they know best and uh, they could mm-hmm. recommend um, uh, mm-hmm. the best options for that one kasi ang mga nursing kasi kami mga nurses usually we have this other option on me we could not prescribe or only thing you have to increase fluid intake we always tell that you have to increase fluid intake increase activities of the patient pag exercise mo siya pag galawin mo siya pag exercise exercise mo siya or we have to tell them that uh, uh, give them uh, food na ano na like for example from the vegetables and fruit like that uh, but we cannot recommend thing uh, other than that only the doctors could help them or sometimes mm-hmm. there's also available na yung maganda talaga na medicine but uh, for us uh, that's the only thing you could uh, get so when you have this uh, um, uh, when you have this um, like for example uh, clinic visit you ask mm-hmm. the doctor and okay. also you you in front of him because you know it's better that the patient could hear para mm-hmm. hindi niya sabihin na nagmamadamot ka because mm-hmm. uh, some patient if you tell them you have to wait like that why you are uh, why you are mm-hmm. uh, like for example um hinihigpitan mo ako like that mm-hmm. so it's better you ask so that uh, you hear the doctor tell it's only once a week like that so mm-hmm. you 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 let uh, you yung ipadiscover mo na siya na it's not you who um, nagiging tight ka sa kanya but it's uh, the doctor's uh, requirement order or mm-hmm. order ng uh, doctor so ganun na lang kasi sometimes there are some patients who is uh, very ha- uh, hard headed talaga and you cannot teach them you cannot and then uh-huh. even they will tell you that uh, you know um you uh, you don't want me to they will uh sinisisi ka ba ganun so mm-hmm. uh, it's better to ask um, in front of the doctor or other health uh, professionals mm. okay ma'am thank you ma'am may tanong pa po wala na po. okay okay we'll go another one okay na ba you are tired Now okay, we we'll go now. Okay, pa. Sige. It's okay. You can uh, you can drink there, uh, coffee <laughs> or anything. <laughs> I listen. 
Philippines. You know, I want you have uh, to have all this uh, uh, information before you will go to uh, level four. <laughs> Kasi sa level four, andun na yung mga actual menu. At least if you have information right now, only like a review na lang pagdating ng level four niyo. So, okay, um, Suze, you have any question? Oh, no, ma'am. No. Okay, now we'll go to critical in Excellent. Uh, critical, <laughs> critical incident technique. Um, now, uh, the critical and steps which use for analyzing of known as critical uh, incident technique. So, uh, we have to evaluate the performance of the student, the evaluate order specific incident of effective behavior. It should be positive. Example, completion of an assignment maintained for a quality nursing care for a patient. Or sometimes, um, grine grade and din natin how if we can see how we work like that. Mm -hmm. Ineffective behavior, like for example, need of poor nursing care, uh, fail to provide patient benefit, like that. So we need uh, to evaluate if the uh, caregiver is able to do his part, if the patient is progressing while he is doing the care for that patient, or uh, the patient is uh, not uh, uh, having a good uh, service or um, comfort from the uh, caregiver or the health health team, any health team. Uh, definition, a critical incident is one that makes significant difference in the outcome of activity. It may be positive factors that contribute to toward the causes, causes that one, uh, of behavior and it may be negative factors that interfere with completion of uh, assignments. So once a critical incident, it's a it's a, it's a differences or a different outcome from different activity. It may be positive factors that contribute towards a, a cause of a behavior. Uh, it may be negative also or positive upon completion. The description of incident should be explained in detail and what the student did or said that made the teacher can believe really understood or sometimes fail to understand. It is a procedure used to collect direct observation of human behavior that is critical, significant, methodically uh, criticized. So, ito yung mga explanation or anything because sometimes at hospital, there are some incidents report that uh, we need to report for. May it be positive or negative for the uh, para sa um, ng ano, so that we could make it up, make it, we could make it right, all the things that we are doing. Now, it, uh, it is a description of event which the data are limited to a factors with a direct bearing of the event by itself. It's one. What does a critical incident uh, actually mean? It is a critical incident indicate the presence or absence of quality of characterized behavior pattern to be analyzed. It helps to break down the road of statement of objective and specific component needed for evaluation. The description of incident should be explained by detail. In healthcare, it is used as a situation. Um, it helped to gain better knowledge about interaction with patient and other clinician. It can be a good resource of identifying the experience of a patient with healthcare setting. You could ever also discuss the element of patient-provider interaction and determine patient responses to illness and treatments. So uh, this one, it's not only you who have this evaluating, but also with the patient. Um, it is a teamwork where it's uh, interaction between the provider and the patient responses toward the illness. It is effective and formative evaluation, uh, summative evaluation for the patient. 
Now this one for the university uh, setting critical incident includes the aspect of um, uh, pro projector group uh, work that went particularly well. It is an accept uh, aspect of project uh, group work that proved difficult. It is a piece of work that uh, found particularly very demanding. It is an incident involved the conflict, bitterness, aggression, or criticism, or a piece of work with increased awareness. Like for example, a medical emergency happened. This is a clinical clinical setting, uh, and there is a clinical incident includes unusual condition. Now you, there is an interaction with the patient, which make uh, made an impression. There must be a, if you have a com, uh, communication problem, it is very uh, very uh, very it's very hard for you to have to communicate with the patient, uh, and also. If there is no uh, communication problem, there will be a difficult situation because you cannot express what you want to tell and what you want to relate to the patient also. It is an incident that made feel educated in some way, a time when you feel confronted. Mm -hmm. Now, the incident which made to think differently or cause question, assumptions or belief. Now, some events happen is a suggested method that cause changes in production. Uh, refuse to follow clear cut instruction. Like for example, there is an instruction and then you, you refuse to do it or to follow. So you have to make a written uh, incident, critical incident report for that one. And then reuse, uh, reuse 